Wake here from Roller Derby Athletics, the place online for derby specific training advice. Today's routine is not exactly a workout, it's a prehab. Now, rehab is something you never want to have to do. That's when you're retraining your body how to work properly again after you've seriously injured it. We don't want to do that. We want to do prehab, which is working on our strength, mobility, and stability to ensure that we never have a major injury. Can't prevent them all, but we can do our best to reduce the chance. Today's prehab workout, by popular request, is focused on feet and ankles. Remember that skating is the act of transferring power from your core down through your legs, through your ankles, feet, and skates into your wheels and translating that into the ground. That's how you get power out of your skates. So if there's a weak link in that chain, like your ankles, then you're going to have reduced power and speed on your skates. So by doing this prehab workout, we can also improve our skating overall. To start off with, we're going to warm up and work on our range of motion. Stick one leg out in front of you while you're sitting down, keep your leg relatively still, and then move your toes around to trace the alphabet. Do capital letters, go through the whole alphabet, do your ABCs, switch feet, and if you want to do a couple of sets of this, you can do cursive letters and baby letters and just make sure that you're moving your feet through as big a range of motion as you can. You can also do your alphabets with your skates on before practice, gives you a little bit of extra weight and resistance, which is great. For the next couple of exercises, we're gonna work our foot muscles, and you just need a hand towel. So the first one is towel pulls. Plant your heel on the towel, and then use your toes to scrunch the towel towards your heel. You want to try to bunch this towel up under your foot. The next one is towel inversion. So same thing, you're going to plant your heel and then you're going to use your toes with your heel stationary to pull the towel across. Start a little further over on your towel and get a few more reps in there. And finally, we're going to do towel grabs. So you're just going to use your toes to pick the towel up and then drop it again. And use your toes to pick the towel up. So you wanna do each of these towel exercises for about a minute. I mean, this is totally something you can do while you're brushing your teeth or watching TV. The next exercise set uses a resistance band. So you can get exercise tubing or stretchy band stuff like this, either from a physiotherapist's office, from the drugstore, sporting goods stores, lots of different places. The first one is flexion and extension. So put the band around the ball of your foot, like this, with your foot stretched out, and then you're just going to point and flex your toe. Now as you're doing this, you want to make sure that you are controlling the movement and resisting the band in both directions so that when you're uh, flexing your foot back up, you're not just letting it pop back up, but you're resisting slowly and using the control of your muscles. All right, next up we're gonna do inversion and eversion. So, sitting down on the floor or on the couch with your leg outstretched, just wrap the band around the ball of your foot and around your other foot and then hold on to it firmly here. This is your tension. Now what you wanna do is rotate your foot away from your stationary foot. Just back and forth, again like before, controlling the return to neutral motion so you're not snapping back. And you can do this in lots of different orientations. You can do it with a flexed foot, you can do it with your foot pointed, and you can do it with your foot in a more neutral position as well. So once you've done about a minute like that, then you're going to pick that foot up over top of the other one wrap your band around and you're going to do the reverse motion. So now you're going to be turning your foot in towards uh, your center line like this. Back and forth, controlling the motion. And finally we're going to do circles. So wrap the band around your foot a couple of times and then simply put your foot through the full range of motion. Rotate that ankle around 
using the resistance of the band and again trying to keep the movement nice and smooth. So do half a minute clockwise turns and half a minute in the opposite direction. So we've done some footwork, some mobility, some ankle stretching and strengthening. We're going to move now into some calf strengthening exercises, starting with two foot calf raises. You can hold on to something for balance if you need to for these calf raises, but work your way up to doing these without holding on to anything. Now you want to have your feet hip width apart and your feet perfectly straight ahead, forward and backwards. Now a big tendency with calf raises is for people to roll out on the outsides of their feet and have their ankles turn in. This is reinforcing a natural imbalance that many of us have where the outsides of our shins are much more stronger than the insides. So doing this exercise properly will help to correct that imbalance. So you want to come up onto your toes without rotating in or out, just nice and smooth, straight up and straight down. Once again, you want to resist yourself on the way down so that you are not plopping down like this. You want to come down nice and slow and resist that shakiness that you feel in your feet as you do this. Next up is single foot calf raises. So same thing. If you can do this without holding on to anything for balance, that's going to give you the best workout for your feet and ankles. Do a minute on the first foot and then switch and do a minute on the second foot. While you're doing this on one foot, same idea as the two foot calf raise, make sure that your ankle is tracking perfectly straight right behind your toes, that it's not tweaking inwards. Now we're going to further test our ankle strength and stability by doing some movements where we're balanced on one foot and then we're moving our upper body around, forcing our st stabilizer muscles to kick in. So this could be anything like balancing on one foot, getting into a half squat, and then reaching down to touch the floor in different places. Okay, inside, in front of you, outside, and you can do it with a bent leg or you can do it hinging from the hip and doing a straight leg. And my favorite strengthening exercise for your feet is to stand on one foot and balance with your eyes closed. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you don't touch yourself with any other part of your body. So no hands on your hips, no hooking your foot, no having your knee touching. Everything needs to be away from your body. Then just close your eyes and balance and try to balance for 30 seconds to a minute. Now if you touch down, you don't have to start counting over from zero, just keep going. When you close your eyes, um, your equilibrium is off. You don't have the um, visual horizon to help you balance, so then it causes you those um, stabilizer muscles in your feet to really kick in, and you will feel this and you won't believe how difficult it is. After all of that balance work, we're gonna have some burning in our feet and calves, so it's time to stretch them out. I'm gonna show you three basic stretches. There's lots of different ways to stretch your calves. Here's a couple of good ones. Very basic, get your foot out behind you, plant your heel into the ground, think about lifting your toes up or actually lift your toes up off the ground, and lean forward, keep a straight back leg, and feel the stretch through the back of your calf. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Now, a lot of people only do this one straight leg stretch for their calves, but there's actually another major calf muscle that you can only stretch when your knee is bent. So I want you to stay in a similar position to where you were, but now you're gonna lean back, you're gonna bend that stretching knee, just about you know 45 degrees or less, put some weight into that foot, keep your heel on the ground or as close to it as you can, and you're gonna feel a different stretch. You're going to feel it in your Achilles tendon area and up in a different spot on your calves. Once you've done those on both legs, you're going to get a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball and we're going to do some rolling on our feet. Just get your lacrosse ball or your tennis ball, put it on the ground, get your foot on there and roll around through your instep back and forth and get all those tight muscles stretched out and worked out. This feels great and I love doing this even with a golf ball right after I take my skates off after practice. Once again, you'll do this on each foot for about a minute at the end of your ankle prehab routine. And that is the Roller Derby Athletics Prehab for Feet and Ankles. 
We worked on mobility, stability, strength, and flexibility of our feet and ankles. And those are the ingredients you need to prevent injuries. I'm Booty Quake. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to share it with a friend and help them prevent roller derby injuries too. I'll see you next time. <laughs>